time. A school is the... Buster was having a wonderful time rolling the earth flat. That night at the yards, Miss Jenny had stern words for Max and Monty. You'll be spending the next three days in your sheds, she said, and you should be ashamed of yourselves. Our park is covered with fallen trees. You could rely on us, Steve Buster. Buster was sad. As everyone left, Everyone's got a job but me, he said. Buster was upset. It's not fair, he puffed. I want to help, too. Buster, I've come to take you to the soccer field, he chuffed cheerfully. He was so excited, he thought his boiler would burst. Yay! He was very happy. There was nothing better than being needed urgently. Soon, they arrived at the soccer field. After Buster was unloaded, he was amazed by what he saw. Mole hills, he cried excitedly. Hundreds of them! This was the moment he had been waiting for. Buster clanked and sputtered and flattened and smoothed. to watch. His smoke was blowing, his steam was white and feathery. We'll do it again. In no time at all, the soccer field was flat again. But Miss Jenny gave him the nicest praise of all. Buster was proud. And all the way home, Thomas could see that Buster was happy. It's a grand thing to be really useful. Then all the way home. The sun on his back and the wind on his rollers. I'm thinking, said Buster. But he wasn't. He was dreaming about what it would feel like to win a race. Thomas had brought Buster to the Soder Auto Racetrack, where his friends were working. They were going to finish the track today. It was a responsible job. The track had to be made safe. Buster flattened the track around the final bend. He was still dreaming about winning a race. And the winner is Buster, the fastest steamroller in the world. Vroom, vroom, Buster cried. If you were going any slower, you'd be going backwards, teased Max. <laughs> but Buster paid no attention. He was having too much fun. Finally, the work was finished, and Miss Jenny came to inspect the site. I test it, Miss Jenny, asked Buster. I'm the fastest steamroller in the world. My foreman will give you the all clear. They waited for the foreman to give the all clear. I'm ready! cried Buster. Max and Monty were speeding away. Buster trundled happily down the track as fast as his rollers would carry him, which wasn't very fast at all. But Buster was trundling towards the finish. Go, Buster! It was too late. Buster chuffed and puffed across the finish line. When and I wasn't even speeding, he said. When Thomas came to collect Buster, he was pleased. Buster was proud. Vroom, vroom, he said as Thomas chuffed past Monty and Max. Twenty jobs for everyone. Jobs galore are still the Jobs for what man in a to work for Jack and Nut. Hooray and hurrah! But none of them had seen Thomas. Jack and his team cheered. Yay! Hey! 